Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using this new stamp set from Simon Says Stamp and Avery L. And I'm also going to be using this Emboss It Dabber from Ranger. This is actually their embossing ink, but it's in a jar, so it's a little bit different. You can use it to emboss large areas, or you can do what I'm doing today. So I have some Saunders watercolor paper here. This is a really thick, nice watercolor paper. And I've cut it to be a standard size card. So it's 11 inches long by 4 and 1 quarter tall. And then I've scored it at 5 and a half. Now I will cut this card down later, but for now it is the standard size. So I took some... Uh, masking tape and just put it to the left of the fold just so I would have that tape there to remind me where the front of the card is and then I adhered it down onto a hard board so that I can do some watercoloring. I'm using three different colors of distressing today. I'm using chipped sapphire and I'm smushing these down onto a watercolor palette from Art Impressions. I'm also using broken china and then I'll use some tumbled glass. So I have a light blue, sort of a medium blue, and a more intense bluish purple. So I'm going to speed up the video process here and just walk you through my entire water coloring. So I started with the tumbled glass and brought in some broken china and basically just wanted to add little dabs of color throughout this piece. I'm avoiding going all the way to the edge of that blue tape because I really want to have a nice free edge around this whole entire area of color. So I'm going around and filling in those areas and I'm trying to make sure I have a nice balance of color that, that the darker blue is over a large area as well. Using my heat tool to speed up the drying process, I've had a few questions where people were asking if you have to have a heat tool to do watercoloring. Um, actually, a lot of people people prefer to not speed up the drying process because you get really beautiful blooms of color and it looks a little bit more organic. I'm very impatient so I like to have a heat tool on hand just to speed the process along but you definitely don't need to have a heat tool to do some water coloring. So I'm adding more color on top and I'm just adding some lighter shades of the dark blue and some of the Water is pooling in different areas and I'm just trying to get it to do a few different things. So all of this was looking really filled in, lots of color everywhere. I thought it might need some areas of relief. So I thought I would go ahead and sprinkle on some clear, clean water. Let that sit for a minute. And then I used a paper towel to pick up that color and it just lightened a few of those areas. Interestingly, the Distress Ink does not pick up at up out of the paper as much as it does on other watercolor papers. I'm not entirely sure why, but this Saunders watercolor paper really holds on to that color. So once it was completely dry, I cleaned up my watercolor palette and this cleans up really easily. I'm just using a baby wipe and cleaning up all of that. Sometimes you have to use two baby wipes. You get the initial colors off and then clean it off one more time. But in this case, just one baby wipe worked well. So I'm going to do a little bit of lettering on top. So this is what I'm doing with that embossing ink. I'm going to be writing out Merry Christmas in the embossing ink, and then I will heat emboss it using some silver embossing powder. So I sort of scribbled out or wrote out what I wanted to say, which is Merry Christmas, I'm starting some Christmas cards, and um, I'm just penciling that on. The embossing is going to go right over the top, so I don't have to worry about any of that pencil showing through. So this embossing ink is actually very thick. I'm gonna pour it out into this palette and you'll be able to see how thick that is. It comes out really, really thick. It's almost like a glue texture. So I'm going to dilute it with a little bit of water. I can use my little eyedropper here that has water in the bottle. And I just added one little droplet and I'm gonna mix that in. And then I'll add another droplet and mix it again. So this is a really good idea to test out the thickness of this kind of DIY embossing paint that you're creating because you don't want to make it too thin. I have tried this out in the past and I made it a little bit too thin and then it didn't have enough of that embossing ink to really make the embossing powder stick. 
So I'm going to go ahead and switch to a different brush. I decided I didn't want to use that one. And I'm using a size zero brush. It's one of my favorite brush sizes for doing uh, brush lettering because it's such a fine point. So I'm going over all of that uh, lettering. Actually, I'm going over only the first word. I'm going over Mary. And I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle on some silver embossing powder from Ranger and test it out and make sure that it looks OK. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this up off the board. And at this point, I probably could have just removed the tape altogether, but um, I wasn't thinking that far ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and tap off the excess, get rid of that extra silver embossing powder, and then I'll hit that with my heat tool. And this is going to give me a nice metallic silver texture on those words. So after I had Mary embossed, I went ahead and started to paint in Christmas. And this um, goes by pretty quickly. It is a longer word, but I was worried about the embossing ink drying in between. So I wanted to make sure that I worked rather quickly. I don't know that it would, re it would really dry that fast, but um, I'm only fairly experienced using this particular embossing ink for brush lettering, and I haven't tested it to see how long it, it really takes to, to keep it wet enough to apply the embossing powder. So I'm going to add some more of that Ranger Silver Embossing Powder. I'll sprinkle that on completely, making sure I cover all of the area. And then I'll tap that and get rid of all the excess embossing powder. So I'm going to use my uh, use a dry brush, or I'm actually sorry, I'm going to use my um, small brush once again, and I'm going to do the crossbar on the T. I realized I forgot to do that. So I'll go ahead and paint that on. And then I'll add that silver embossing powder once again. And that's just going to finish off the word. So I'm going to go ahead and use my heat tool. And I'm just heating this until I can see that it's shiny. Um, metallic embossing powders are really great that way because you know exactly when it's melted completely because all the granules are gone and everything's shiny. Um, some other colored embossing is a little bit more difficult to tell. But any of your metallic embossing colors are work fit fantastic for this. So now I'm going to take that stamp set that I showed you at the beginning of the video from Avery L. and Simon Says Stamp. This is actually a stamp set collaboration between the two companies. Uh, this is part of Simon Says Stamp's Stamp Timber celebration. They have teamed up with a bunch of different stamp companies and put out a special stamp set for the month. So this is the one from Avery L. It has really beautiful snowflakes and some greetings on it as well. I'm not using the greetings on my card today. I'm doing my own greeting, but those snowflakes are too beautiful to pass up. So I've stamped the, the snowflakes and I'm just em embossing them in that same silver embossing powder and heat setting them until they're completely melted. So then I removed that blue tape and my card is pretty much done. I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it over and I'm gonna take off about a quarter of an inch off the bottom of the card. I decided that that looked a little bit more finished to me. So that's the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I think I might actually try making this card on some Bristol paper because it's very smooth and I'll get a better embossing result. But for now, I really like how this turned out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next card video. Mm -hmm.